One of the biggest narratives for the upcoming bull run is going to be GameFi, which are games that integrate Web3 technology where players can earn and be part of the ecosystem through cryptocurrency and NFTs. One of the very first games to launch this bull run in a triple A style first person shooter is Shrapnel. And we're going to get into everything you need to know to get involved in the ecosystem, what you need to buy, what the NFTs are, how you can get the cryptocurrency and all that. So if you So the first thing before we get into anything is just to keep in mind that we are in the very early testing stages of this game. It is triple A quality from a triple A gaming studio. However, right now it's to be honest, the gameplay is quite mid. Um, I had my sons play it because I just don't have time to be playing games nowadays. I'm so busy with everything I got going on. So I bought it for my son. Um, you know, both my sons, I have three sons actually, but the older two play video games. So I bought them this game. They've been playing a little bit, testing out, got some, um, screen footage for me, some gameplay footage. You guys will see that a little bit later on, but there are definitely like, you know, some of the skins aren't on all of the buildings and things like that. Um, there's not a whole lot of people as we are in testing mode right now. So it definitely does have a long way to go, but still being one of the very first games to drop to integrate with the NFTs, it is very high quality and definitely something you would see from a triple A quality game studio. Um, but with that said, we can go ahead and get into the ecosystem and everything you need to know about the game. So to get started, you want to come over to shrapnel.com, and this is where you're going to be able to buy. If you click buy, it's going to bring you into this screen here um, where you can get the different extraction packs. There's light, medium, and heavy, and every user can buy one of each. So you're able to buy a light, a medium, and a heavy. Total price on that, you know, you're looking at 100, 150, um, about $170 if you buy all of them. And essentially it gives you a bunch of different operators and different gear packs if you buy the higher ones. And you do have early access to this test mode that we are in right now. You do need the token to create a call sign. So you're not gonna be able to do that unless you get some of their shrapnel token. Um, to get that, you have to either um, be involved with the ecosystem through the NFTs or possibly another way. I haven't quite figured that out just yet. Uh, if you go to the actual token where, um, let's see, I believe, let's go back a second. Sorry, guys. Uh, if we go to blockchain and we go to Shrap token, it tells you about the token. It says at the heart of the Shrapnel economy is the Shrap token providing utility and the medium of exchange on the Shrapnel platform. Um, goes into a little bit more what it is, publishing, governance, and promotion, gas, and exchange. But if you click on it here, it just goes to like a waiting list on uh, Radon here. And so, um, or Radon, I'm not sure how you say that. But um, essentially, you need to just sign up for the um, waiting list and they'll tell you when it goes live. But I do know people have this token. So I think they were either like early investors and they bought nodes or something like that. Uh, but getting into... Uh, the actual NFTs here, we can see they do have several comic books. So there's a comic book for each one of their main characters in the story. And some of them do have these variant covers if you want something a little more rare. So that's one thing in terms of uh, NFT, you can buy the NFT comic books and they are sold in AVAX on the AVAX chain. We also have the operators. So you're not gonna be able to actually play these guys in game. They're essentially just like PFPs or profile pictures and uh, still pretty cool though a bunch of different like characteristics and things like that in the future i do believe that they will have nfts of the actual in-game characters that you might be able to play and purchase however right now in the testing mode you just get those most basic ones that we saw here um you know in the game when you buy these operators so um let's see i'm coming back so buy now these extraction packs. Um, I bought just the cheapest one because I wasn't sure my kids were going to like it. And I believe we got this guy right here. So just depending on what you want to do, if you want to get all three of them. Um, I think if you get the medium, you get this guy and this girl. And if you buy the heavy, you get all three of them. Um, but again, these do have a little bit of utility and we'll get into that in a minute. But we also have um, these Shrapnel Signa containment units. 
and so you can also purchase these you can see right now at the time of the video they are 0.01 ethereum and the operators are going for 0.157 and the comic books depending if you're getting a variant cover or not are about 0.08 avax um actually it looks about the same price you know going up a little bit if you get some of the more rare ones here so you're probably thinking, well, what do the NFTs do? And I took a screenshot of this. I got this out of the Discord. And so um, these SCU uh, collectible NFT, they give you a limited time set of rewards. Welcome pack into the Trap Now ecosystem. Early access to creator tools. Exclusive decal pack within Trap Now Insignia. Access to content from partner collabs and in-game SCU skin. Exclusive collaboration art with different artists. If you buy one of the um, operator NFTs here, you're going to get early access testing and feedback and voting. So that early access was even earlier than if you bought those extraction packs. Right now, if you get the extraction pack, you can play. But if you had one of these, you were able to play even earlier than that. And I believe you'll get like more exclusive access if you do own one. So if you want, um, potentially they close it down. It might still be open to these operators. Um, holder exclusive token rewards. So this is where I was saying, you know, if you get one of these, you're going to get the shrapnel tokens. I believe they are paying out only to the operators right now. So um, that's something key if you want to be able to like lock in your call sign. Um, you're definitely going to need one of these operators to get some of that shrapnel token. I'm not sure how much is needed, but you do get those token rewards for missions, quests, and events. Other ongoing and periodic rewards such as skins and decal packs. So you're going to get just more exclusive drops essentially by owning that right now. And that is the earliest NFT. Like I said in the future, I do believe all of the characters will be NFTs. You'll be able to buy different NFTs to play in game. Um, they did take down a little bit of like the white paper, but there wasn't the white paper. I can't find it anymore, but um, previously I did see that. So more digital comic books nfts and full set holders tba later this year so you're going to get more stuff if you do own those nfts guys um so just keep that in mind you don't need it to play right now you can just buy with usd get one of these extraction packs or all three if that's what you want to do and you'll be able to play the test mode um you can see here we come into it and it gives you a little bit more about what you're going to get um, you do get some drops and things like that as well. So essentially you're like the beta tester for this game. Um, it is not in beta mode. This is just like early access mode, but I do believe they're still working out some of the kinks and working through some of the stuff with the gameplay. It was a little bit glitchy on some of the things. And I did read in the Discord community as well that it is like a bigger build. This early access, it takes like more of your... Um, computer resources to run and in the future they're going to render everything down and compress it and it's going to be a little bit lighter um, probably with a lot more of the skins and things like that so again if you guys stick around to the end i'll show you a little bit of the gameplay um but yeah so uh we also do have a few other things that you guys may be interested in if you want to check out like the roadmap we see here that we do have all of this stuff completed um some of the most basic stuff here and then we get into like some of the future stuff which is um, right here the more to come in the coming soon we have create and own your unique custom designs portability of on-chain items so selling them the marketplace buy sell promote player profiles where you can customize your persona and the actual strap rewards this is what we're waiting for here to be able to get our call signs um, pre-alpha access to gameplay of the operator holders and extraction pack holders so i believe that's actually right now they're doing that even though this has more to come um, skins create to own cosmetics for gear and weapons so you're not going to be able to just buy nfts and play them in game you're actually able to create them so for um, a creator community i think this is really amazing you'll probably have to pay a certain number of shrap to like mint them but then you'll be able to sell them on the marketplace and actually earn in-game currency for the skins that you create as well as um, different playable maps so i saw that was also on the white paper that they have playable maps and again if we click on the white paper right now it just goes to like this blank not found screen so i'm not sure if they're redoing that or what but i did have it on my computer earlier i didn't save it and so now i'm not able to show you guys that but again we do have maps create host and promote and um, upgrades and additional items services and tools so a lot of cool stuff coming here in terms of the actual game 
Um, let's see, community, there's Com Center, Discord, and Twitter. You guys can follow them. There's a whole bunch of stuff about the team and then careers if you guys are into um, that sort of thing. And I wish I had the white paper because in the white paper, they actually did compare it versus like PUBG, um, some of the other ones, CSGO. Um, my mind's going blank right now, but they had like a little comparison thing against like four or five of the top first person shooter games. And essentially they did everything that each one of those games individually did and a whole lot more. So they're combining together some of the best pieces of all the other first person shooters and adding even more utility with the, um, integration of the trap token which is a cryptocurrency and nft so i'm really hyped on this game even though the gameplay isn't super great right now it is the early stage of building and so um, with any game guys it's going to get better and better almost you know when i played csgo back in the day it wasn't super amazing or at least not as good as it is right now and so it's to be expected that with the first launch they're going to definitely have a little bit of glitchiness um, they're not like fully loaded on all the skins on everything in the maps and whatnot but um, in the future there'll definitely be a lot of people playing this game um, they do have you know a good like uh, following and backing right now from the crypto community and i do believe more and more like real gamers and streamers are getting on um, starting to play this game and as it launches into like the full game mode i think you'll definitely th see this um, explode especially since people can actually earn from creating items and playing the game so um, really cool stuff and maybe they'll have like game modes where you can actually like put up some of the tokens and earn uh, cryptocurrency from beating your opponents in these tournaments like um, you know maybe like pro gamers and stuff like that so uh, a lot to come here a lot of opportunity and cool stuff here with this game and uh, yeah the strap token we already kind of covered that um, let's see what else. Oh, the NFT. So here we come uh, over to this screen. It is uh, shrapnel.com forward slash NFTs. And we have true ownership. So blockchain and crypto based assets have the ability to transform the gaming industry as they allow players to have ownership of the platform by retracting ownership from the platform and giving it to players. And this visible on chain, it becomes possible for players to receive attributions for creation, curation and game interaction so really cool guys again we have creating trading promoting and discovery um here are each one of these characters so there's five of them and these are the guys that you're able to learn like their backstories if you buy those nft comic books each one has their own comic book and it gives you uh their backstory and so you can see that right here as well uh, but again here are you know the links i'll have all the links in the um, description below and let's go ahead and get into a little bit of gameplay other than that if you guys are enjoying these videos make sure you give me a thumbs up and sub to the channel as we are dropping cryptocurrency videos every single week if you want to chat with me more access join up the discord and if you guys like seeing more videos about game five stuff definitely let me know in the comments below and i'll continue to uh, make videos on upcoming games that are about to launch or games that just launched as i do feel like i said in the intro that game five will be a major narrative of this bull run unlimited earning potential with these games it is just a huge billions of billion dollar industry now hitting with cryptocurrency it's gonna be you know just absolutely explosive so make sure you guys aren't missing out on some of these game five launches thank you guys for watching we'll see you in the next one and roll the gameplay Ready? Look, I'm about to kill him, but I'm, like, I'm stuck in stairs. I can't move at all.
I killed this jump, but I'm stuck in these dumb stairs. Oh, no, I don't tell you. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. I can't heal. Wait, I can't. It's not letting me heal, Spence. 